The technology we're talking about is really uh, two different separate things. We have technology for printing edible items out of many ingredients, maybe a dozen different ingredients. And we have technology for cooking uh, the food as it's being printed. So the basic idea is that you have this kind of uh, appliance. It looks uh, more or less like a, a microwave size or maybe an espresso machine. Uh, you pop in a couple of frozen uh, cartridges of different ingredients, let's say water, oil, butter, pesto, ground beef, uh, you know, shrimp, whatever it is that you uh, uh, want to uh, make your, your, your dish out of. And the, uh, the machine uses software to extrude this, these ingredients and lots of different patterns and lots of different three-dimensional uh, arrangements. And it also cooks all these ingredients as it prints. There's two lasers, a blue and a red laser that cook the food as it's being printed. Uh, and after about, let's say 20 minutes or so, you have your, your dish, it comes out of the machine. It's, it's a complex, beautiful arrangement of lots of different ingredients cooked in lots of interesting ways. It's boiled on the outside, it's cooked on the inside. It's something you've never uh, seen before. So this kind of uh, appliance uh, sounds a little bit like uh, science fiction, but it's really based on very simple technologies, technologies for depositing ingredients, for mixing ingredients, uh, and for uh, laser cooking. These are all technologies for which we have uh, been developing uh, over the past uh, almost decade uh, in the lab, uh, we have a lot of IP around these technologies, and I think we're ready to launch them as a kind of uh, appliance. So let's take a look. This is the current technology we're working on to develop the idea of food printing and laser cooking. Right now, this machine has both the food printing elements and the cooking elements, which it can all do in one kind of device. This machine can print with up to 18 different ingredients, and we're using this to develop this technology further. It can also cook with two different lasers, which are both on the side of the machine here. Um, but granted, this is an entirely functional model. Something that will be more commercial and consumer ready will look a little bit more like this, which is something more like an espresso machine. Um, you would have all your ingredients on top, your ink cartridges that you can pop in and out, and then it will make it for you on the bottom platform. This is another concept model that incorporates both food printing and laser cooking on the same machine. It features a carousel of two dozen ingredients, which it can grab one of at a time to print with, and then also cook using a range of different types of lasers. You basically uh, pop in a couple of cartridges, you download a recipe, you hit enter, and bam, uh, 20 minutes later, got your dish. So it's not a fast food device. Uh, it doesn't create things quickly, uh, but it creates things that are nutritious, uh, interesting, uh, healthy, fresh, uh, and uh, complex. Now, if we were to separate laser cooking from the printing process, this is what a cooking appliance might look like. You would have a box or an oven that could do dry heating as well as microwave heating, laser cooking, basically as many modalities that could be packed into a kitchen appliance to give the user as much customization and high resolution cooking as possible. You'd be able to selectively cook just inside the food, brown the surface in a unique pattern, or cook your steak with varying levels of doneness. Uh, really wanna give total control over the heating process for a consumer.